I know the million dollar question is based on the schedule that we play. Uh, you guys want to know um, exactly where these cats fit right now. Uh, when you just did what we did, Texas Tech, Texas A&M, Grand Canyon, Arizona State, UCLA, and then come here. Um, I've been doing this 34 years, 13 at this school. And, um, you know, this is, this is our 60, 68th uh, Power Five game. Uh, it is what it is. It's what we have to do. It's all part of it. I will tell you this. On video, I thought they really, really guarded. I thought they really were connected defensively, and I thought they had the ability to be one of the best defensive teams because of not only their length, but their IQ. Seeing them live, I think your kid, I know he's not a shooter. I know he's not a good shooter at all. And I told him after the game, Wheeler, that if you continue to do what you do and be the player that you are, this team has a chance to really be special. If you try to listen to everybody else that's on the outside, then you could really, really, really screw up what you guys have. The way he defends the ball at the point and the way he pushes the ball to the rim and puts pressure on you, it's, 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 it's great to see. It's, it's exciting for these guys to see. And, um, you know, I would say of the teams that we played, you guys are definitely have the best package on both ends of the floor. You don't have a lot of shooters, but you have the right guys getting shots. You don't have a lot of shooters, but you have guys that find them when they're open. 34, can't pronounce his name, but we're one of the greatest rebounders in basketball right now. And he took away a dunk that he could have had and kicked it out for the first three and a half to tie tie. So to me, that says their esprit de corps is really connected. And, and you can see that they have great love for each other. So um, obviously the first three medias went our way. Um, it, was, it was the way we wanted it to go, um, except for the turnovers. Um, well, obviously, we're a heavy three-point shooting team. I thought we turned on some we could have gotten. But to their credit, they put a lot of pressure on us as well, too. So you, you guys should be really excited um, um, about where you're at and about where you're going. And um, um, I know your next, I guess, Ohio State is your next one. And you guys will be the, you know, the most um, um, eager to see your team compete against. And um, um, you, you guys are going to have a very good year. And now we'll do questions for the student athlete. Well, Carter, the obvious question, how was your uh, experience first game in Rump? Well, I mean, it's, it's definitely a dream come true. I, you know, growing up, you know, in Mount Sterling, like me and my dad used to come to the state tournament all the time and, you know, sit, sitting up there, I'm like, man, I really want to play here one day. And we got really close my senior year of high school and it just didn't, you know, it just didn't go our team's way, but you know the, the coach, the coaching staff, being able to get this opportunity to, for our team to come play here, like what nobody's going to play in a better atmosphere than that, better arena, arena than that. Like the history here is like you know, I can go down the list of just all the great players and you know great teams that have played here, and it's just it's just really cool place. You know, it's definitely you know the fans here are awesome. You know, there's not any better fans in the country than you know Big Blue Nation. Like it's just it's really cool to play in front of and you know just being home and seeing everything and actually getting to play on Rupp Arena for the first time, it's just, you know, it was really cool. I thought it was really neat how they acknowledged him during introductions. I thought that's really classy. I don't know if you guys do that with every Lexington kid that comes back, but I thought it was really classy um, that you guys have that within yourself to know who you are, but also, too, to have the, 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 the gratitude uh, for, for, for that reason, for people that grew up always wanting to be in this place. So to, to your credit, and then they gave him a nice ovation when he checked out of the game for the last time, which was which was really classy. Any other questions for Carter? Any questions for Coach? Thank you. Oh, you got one. Go ahead. Um, I just wanted to ask you, I think I've heard a lot of coaches ask, uh, they don't want to be dependent on threes because what if you don't make them? Kentucky didn't make them, not very many. What do you think it says about them that it you know, wasn't a big hindrance? So layups and dunks and wide open threes, two of the last five years we lived the country in three-point shooting. And I tell our guys all the time, if you listen to people that say what you say, you're really not intelligent. You're gifted. We're gifted. So why allow that gift to be something that becomes what you don't want it to be? So... We've always been special at it. It's helped us win three championships in the last seven years. And, and we do not believe in that term. 
you know, live by, die by, that, that, that's bull crap. It's, it's not even a, a true reality of the game. That's what we do. That's how we built this program. And we're really special at it. What's, what's interesting is last year we shot 328 layups and dunks in the league, and we shot 313 threes. So we really have a nice balance of how to do it and how to play. Um, so to say we rely on it is not that that's how we play. So there's a difference between that kind of confidence as opposed to, oh, we got to make them, oh, we got to make them. We're just going to take them. And, Oh, I thought you meant us. No, no, sorry. Say it again. Their bill was having a lot of the three-point shooters, and Coach Callen said, you know, we don't want to be dependent. So 23 made a couple shots tonight that he normally doesn't make, and maybe he's a better shooter than we think, but statistically he hasn't proved it. 11 and 31, obviously, are gifted. Ty, Ty, you know, I don't think he made, I think he made one tonight or maybe, but, but my point is, they, that's what I said earlier in my opening statement. They don't have a lot of guys out there at the same time, but their guys find each other. And the, and the reason is because Wheeler, the guy that's driving the Lamborghini or a Porsche NIL, whatever that guy drives for you, like Wheeler, like he knows where to find guys. They know where to be. And if you're 11 and 31, you got the greatest job in America. All you got to do is stand there and wait for the ball to find you. So to, 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 to his credit, he's great at it. And to Coach Cal's credit, obviously I'm a Pittsburgh guy. Grew up here my whole life. Went to Slippery Rock. He went to Clarion. So obviously made a bad choice. But like – that, 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 that's something that they're really going to flourish with because they have that balance. Any other questions? Uh, curious for uh, Carter. He's, he's not guarding you a whole lot, but from your perspective, what does Wheeler do to a team trying to run its offense with the, the pressure he puts on the ball? Uh, I mean, you said, you said it right there. I mean, just the, the pressure he puts on, the physicality, he, you know, he plays with on our guards and on, it, it, you know, everybody they play against. It's just, you know, it's really impressive that he can carry that out for however many, 35 minutes, 36 minutes that he played. So it's, uh, you know, it's a testament to, I guess, his conditioning and just his, you know, his ability to be on the ball and guard like that. It's, it's really impressive. Coach and Carter, you can chime in on this also, but Kentucky is not known for being a super physical team. In fact, Coach Calipari has kind of emphasized the toughness and physicality aspect of the team. How do you think they rated in terms of the teams that you played this year in terms of physicality? Well, I mean, they're up there. I mean, we've played, you know, Texas Tech, Texas A&M, Arizona State, Grand Canyon, and UCLA already. So, I mean, they're, they're definitely up there. Texas Tech was really physical, but I mean, you know, uh, Oscar Sheboy down there. I mean, he's 16 rebounds. He's you know one of the best rebounders I've ever seen. It's he's really strong and impressive. So it's uh, they're definitely physical. Uh, and that's you know if the more physical they can be, I think the the better off. Good thing about that question is you know I'm going to give you an answer because it's not going to resonate with me. You know, Coach Coach Cal is going to going to tell you whatever he wants to tell you. But again, I've been at the highest level. I was at Baylor. I was a clown. Like like I know what it looks like. Like. Those dudes are really, really physical. Like, they're really physical. Texas Tech was really, really physical. A&M was really, really physical. They're like, he's got those guys playing at a level that's maybe higher than it's been in the past, but they're definitely playing, at a, they're be definitely playing physical. And I think the biggest key will be when you go against someone that looks like you, someone that has the same uh, girth um, as you as well, too. And I don't think... I'm 100% I'm positive, as a matter of fact. Wheeler's not going to back down. Whatever he just said, 34's name is, he's not going to back down. Ty Ty's not going to back down. Like, Brooks didn't play tonight. Like, he's a, he's a tough dude. And, and Collins obviously came in and, and, and gave them great, great minutes as well, too. A couple of your guys, 55 and 0, came back for us, obviously. I don't, I don't know them very well because um, I haven't seen them as much. But you're physical. You're physical. He should be proud of that. Thank you, guys. Thank you.